Welcome back. So this is a follow up video to the Orange Pi Zero review that I did last time. And here we have uh, the Orange Pi Zero uh, running an LCD screen. And it took me a while to figure out how to get it up and running. Uh, so I thought I'd share my experience. So the all winner H2 Plus chip that's used for the Orange Pi Zero actually does support HDMI out. Uh, but for, I guess, space and pricing reasons for the licensing cost that you have to pay for using the HDMI um, socket, uh, they chose not to include it in this, on this board. The only option for the Orange Pi Zero is this SPI bus that's brought out on the expansion port. And luckily, the expansion port is exactly the same as that of the Raspberry Pi. So that means that we have two SPI buses. Uh, one of the SPI bus on the Orange Pi Zero is used for the Wi-Fi module uh, that's already wired in there. And the other one, the number one, is the one that's brought out here. And that matches the pinout of this board. So the way I usually approach these, um, kind of figuring out how to wire these things, is by just Googling the names, all the labels that are on, on, on the display or on the, on, the, on the module and seeing what the components are. And once you know the components, you can start by looking at more precise and more exact keywords that would further help you with the setup. So I, what I did was uh, print out the, the pinout of the expansion port for the Orange Pi Zero. I also figured out the pinout of this uh, display module. Uh, so that was online. That made life very easy. The expansion port is actually on the other side of the board if you compare it to the Raspberry Pi. So that means when you plug it in, when you plug the display module onto the Orange Pi Zero, it's not going to cover the board like it normally would if it was the Raspberry Pi it's actually going to be on the opposite side. So it's going to be facing the other direction. So it took me a while to figure out the exact pinout of this expansion port, uh, namely because the pin names or the GPIO numbering on this one is different from that of Raspberry Pi. And that's because this is using the old inner chip. So I found this post on the RBN forums that explains the formula or how you can map the port name from the data sheet to the actual pin uh, on the expansion port. So I've drawn this diagram of the GPIO pin, on, pin names um, for, the RAS, for the Orange Pi Zero, uh, and it's up on the web, so you can have a look. So after figuring out all the pin names or the GPIO pin names, it was just a matter of configuring the frame buffer uh, TFT module. Uh, you have to pretty much create two files, two extra files, and then edit the boot file or the ARMBN uh, configuration file that's used during the boot up to specify where the console should be attached to the display. So the power draw of this assembled and connected to the Wi-Fi is about 340 milliamps. So if you disconnect the display, it drops by around 100 milliamps. So I've written all that uh, as a kind of concise tutorial and I'm published on my blog, so you can find the link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.